So it's 2021, and you would think in this day and age it would be easy to watch the Olympics. You think somebody could easily, with any device, stream the Olympic events at any time. It shouldn't be that hard, right? It's 2021. Watch the events you want to watch in their entirety. Watch them live, and then go back and re-watch them or watch older events from a few days before you didn't catch live. Seems like an easy concept in 2021, considering how many streaming sites there are, social media platforms, it seems pretty easy, right? Well, it's not, which is why I'm making this video. So why is it so hard to stream the Olympics? And why is this such a problem finding quality Olympic content? Well, first off, you have to understand that NBC owns the exclusive rights to the Olympics. The Olympics Committee or whatever organization gave NBC, at least in America, the, the exclusive rights to stream it. So they're the only ones who can post content. And they can post it in any way they want. And there's two ways they've done this. First off is the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way, which is cable TV. You can watch it live, I assume, at really awkward times because of the time zone difference between Japan and the U.S., yeah, which, and I'm sure they, you know, restream them or rewatch them during the day, but come on, it's cable TV. I'm a millennial. I don't watch a lot of cable TV. I know most people under 50 don't watch a lot of cable TV. So that shouldn't be the primary place to look for the Olympics. If I want to watch it at work or wherever on the go, I don't have a TV with me. I don't have cable with me. So it's not a great idea to be streaming Olympics during the day on TV when I can't watch it. Okay? But aha! There's a second way. Uno dos. And that is a streaming service called Peacock. It's NBC's new streaming service, Peacock. Yes. P and cock. Problem, though, is that this is not the solution. You think, wow, a streaming service. So all the Olympic streams must be there. Not true. Apparently... Now, I clarify, I don't have Peacock, but I've heard from a lot of comments, a lot of articles on Peacock, a lot of people saying that you, there are not a lot of full streams on Peacock, and a lot of it is just highlights and edited content. And it's hard to find live streams of some of these events on Peacock. It's hard to find the non-popular ones on Peacock. And a lot of it is just showing the Americans winning medals. So, yeah. If you were hoping you could just watch any of the Olympics from any part, any sport, whether Americans won or not, you're out of luck. And you think this would be a perfect opportunity to showcase Peacock's ability to let you watch basically almost anything? No. It's not. And you think, well, how hard is it to get a camera to film each event and get a commentator? Shouldn't be that hard, but it is. The commentators, many of them are less than ideal. And a lot of them aren't even shown by NBC because they guess they don't care. They don't think enough people care about the smaller sports, so they don't cover them, especially if the Americans aren't winning. So, yeah, you're just out of luck if you like a specific sport. Another problem with these commentators is they don't explain specifically how a lot of these work. People want to watch fencing or weightlifting. A wide range of sports, like judo. I was watching judo, and like, this is cool. But what the hell are they doing? How do they score points? The commentators should be better educating people on how this works. Not just saying, ooh, good lift, ooh, good move, but explaining specifically why something doesn't get a lift in weightlifting, what specific moves get points in judo, or wrestling, or fencing, you know what I mean? Explaining, because if I don't understand this sport, I'm not going to enjoy it. And you can't just expect fans to understand. You can't just expect fans to understand how this stuff is going to work, because that's just ridiculous. You need to explain, to some extent, periodically during events, okay, these are the rules, this is what's going on. And they don't do that. And another issue, which I don't really care about, but apparently Peacock was supposed to be in 4K, or at least the streaming of the Olympics was supposed to be in 4K on Peacock, and apparently critics claim it's just a fancy-dancy version of 1080p. 
I don't know if that's true, but yeah, that's bad if you promised 4K. So it's basically been abysmal. If you're trying to find the Olympics and watching them online, you have to subscribe to Peacock and get far less than ideal streaming options. Or try to watch it on TV, which sucks in this day and age. Or stream it illegally, which is what a lot of people are doing, because other countries have a lot of better streams and cover a lot more events that America, like NBC, just refuses to cover. It's just, it's bad. Ultimate solution, if they really wanted to promote Peacock, if they really wanted people to flock there in hordes, they just said, we have everything. You're, even if it was $5 a month, everything. Your one-stop shop to the Olympics. You can watch every single event from the beginning. And by the way, they didn't even have the opening ceremony on Peacock. NBC did not even have the opening ceremony available on Peacock. I'm not sure if it's available now, but when the opening ceremony was going on, you could not watch it on Peacock. That is embarrassing. If you're trying to promote a streaming service and you don't even stream the Olympics opening ceremony, I mean, that's just, that's just failure right there. You should have had every point of the Olympics from the beginning opening ceremony to the closing ceremony. Available to be watched live and after it was uh, uh, live. Playback. Right? That should be just a standard. Right? I can live stream a YouTube video and you can go back and watch it months, years. That's nothing. Why can't Peacock do that? It's, 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 it's not good. And you wonder why, you know, the viewership is so low. You know, NBC, I guess statistics have come out that the viewership could potentially be 40% less than in 2016. At least television viewership. And, well, duh, people aren't watching TV anymore. They're not watching cable. They got rid of it. They cut the cord. They cut the cost. And now some people claim, well, and I've read some comments, one of which I'll post here, which I think this, think this is a pretty idiotic comment. That apparently you're going to boycott the Olympics and the viewership is low because one women's soccer team, a few members decide to kneel. You're going to not watch any Olympic team, any Olympic sport, just because one team, a few members of a specific team decided to kneel. That's pretty stupid if you ask me. To boycott dozens of countries, dozens of sports, dozens of hundreds of athletes, thousands of athletes. Just because a few women soccer players kneeled. That's really stupid. Really stupid. And I do not think that's why viewership is so low. It's low because less people are watching TV. And Peacock's coverage is not that great. 